I'm going to move away from those uh, two inquiries now to bring you right up to date with what's been happening in Iran. A nuclear physicist and university professor has been killed. This happened in a bomb explosion in Tehran. Dr. Masoud Mohammadi was killed by what seems to have been a booby trap motorbike outside his home in the Ketaria neighborhood in northern Tehran. Iranian state media described Dr. Mohammadi as a supporter of the Iranian revolution who was killed by anti-government groups. Early reports suggest the professor was just leaving for work when the blast ripped through his street, killing him instantly. The bomb appears to have been attached to a motorcycle parked outside his home. Set off by remote control, it was timed to deadly effect. Several houses around were also damaged. No one has so far claimed responsibility, but the Iranian state broadcaster has said Mr. Mohammadi was a committed and revolutionary professor who was martyred in a terrorist act. It accused Zionist and American agents of planting the bomb. The killing has come at a time of high political tension in Iran. Iranian universities have been the scene of rival protests since last June's election. Emily Buchanan, BBC News. Here's some analysis now. Our Tehran correspondent John Lyon joins us here in the studio. What do you make of uh, IRAB, various other uh, Iranian news agencies saying that it was anti-revolutionary, arrogant powers that were responsible for this, John? Well, in a way, who knows what evidence to have. This is the kind of default setting. They would argue this. Inevitably, with, with so many issues that are out there, he's a nuclear scientist. Uh, the other thing is the way it's been reported so quickly. You, you, you're asking, how, what's going on here? Are there wheels within wheels? Is that unusual, the fact? that we got details so quickly. They seem to be very willing to, to very keen to publicise it very quickly. Now that could just mean they want to want to show what a terrible thing's been done. But obviously, it, you know, there are more questions than answers. Is what we want to really say. And as so often with Iran, one, one is always asking, are there wheels within wheels, or is this exactly what it looks like, which is a nuclear scientist being killed, as the Iranians argue, by outsiders or outside finance terrorist groups? Can we presume that Professor Mohammadi was connected to the nuclear program? I don't think we can assume that, but I think a lot of people will will be thinking that. I mean, if you're a nuclear scientist in Iran, it would be strange not in some way to have some connection with the nuclear program. And this area of North North Iran is very close to uh, several of the alleged nuclear plants that are going on there. Emily mentioned in her piece just the time that we're in at the moment of heightened tension. What will this do? What's the fallout going to be? Well, and that's the other question, of course, on two issues. The nuclear talks themselves. Iran's been repeating in recent days that the talks aren't dead. Is still willing to talk to the United States, even some very sort of unsourced rumours. They might even be willing to offer some new confidence-building measures. So, is it going to derail that, or, or who knows? And the other thing, of course, the opposition will fear that they'll be blamed for this, rightly or wrongly, and uh, that, that maybe it might be used as an excuse to crack down on them. Those are the fears. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I think those are the sort of things that will be going through people's minds in Tehran this morning. Okay, John. Thanks for joining us.